Okay, guys. Today we're gonna deal with um, with a small um, workaround for you to be able to rename the plugin uh, when you face uh, this problem. For example, here I'm gonna insert one of uh, my favorite compressor. For example, the TubeTech C1B from SoftTube. Okay. Oh, I forget my e-lock. Hold on. Okay. Right. I'm plug my e-lock. All right, all right, all right. So let's do it again. I'm gonna insert the two text CL1B. What you see here, here on the FX bin, I only see two tech. Okay, and here I see two text CL1B auto map version. That's very long. I mean, when you see the plugin names in here, and so now you can dock your plugin in here. So I got a name displayed in here, and it takes a lot of space. If I insert another one here, for example, the FED compressor, okay, and here, if I dock him, uh, I'm gonna see like TubeTech CL1B Auto Map Channel 1, FED compressor Auto Map Channel 1, etc. And here, the name are not very easy to look at okay here I only see valley people valley po <laughs> I don't see that might okay I'm gonna switch to the here same here okay the tip tech CL fed compress valley people I mean that's something that's making me crazy and uh, that's that that makes um, my uh, FX being kind of cruddy okay so we're gonna deal with that right now so first of all, you're gonna open the registry. Okay, you go to H key current user, then software, then Cakewalk Music Software, Sonar, Cakewalk VST, Inventory, <clears throat> and then you're gonna have here displayed all your plugins registered to the Sonar plugin manager. So I'm gonna see the soft tube in here. Okay, I'm gonna check the FED compressor and I'm gonna rename it auto map version. So I'm gonna stick with the F FED comp. Okay, same for the regular version. <clears throat> CL1B. To take CN1B in here, so I'm gonna stick with CN1B alone. Okay, you can even put some space before uh, if you want the plugin name be centered on the FXB or something like that. Valley people, okay, I just need dynamite. This is one of my favorite gate. Unlimited two. This plugin is a beast. Okay, I'm gonna stick with this one for for them. Okay, the summit. Let's let's do the summit two. Summit audio. I'm gonna stick with TL one hundred. Okay. Hold on, hold on. All right. That's okay. So I'm gonna relaunch Sonar. Here we go. So this is not uh, this is far from just changing the name on the plugin manager, right? Uh, because uh, on the plugin layouts you're gonna change the name, but the plugins that's gonna be displayed, uh, the name that's gonna be displayed on the FX bin are not the same as the plugin layout. So for example, in here, on my plugin layout I have two text CL1B, but when I insert it, boom, CL1B, no more two text, blah 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 blah. Let's do the dynamite stuff. Where is my dynamite? Boom, dynamite. No more valley people and all that. Let's try the fed compressor. Fed comp. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to my channel and this is more easier on the eyes. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this. This is far uh, different from doing just changing the name in here on the plugin 
manager in here okay uh, one more thing you gotta keep in mind that once you done that you change the name um, on the plugin manager that means the name is gonna be displayed here okay the name that's gonna be displayed here on the list are gonna be now from now the name you change on the registry so for example the CM1B before this tweak uh, it was to take CL1B so that was on the two T uh, letters now the CL1B it's gonna be here and I got two times the same name I got a regular version in here and I got the auto map version here with the same name okay okay so I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, feel free to ask me for some if you need some okay take care of you guys bye bye